Cryogenics is a science and technology at very low temperatures. Our modern lives are indebted to cryogenic processes. Do you know that your favorite cold beverage most probably have undergone a cryogenic process? Medical oxygen is supplied to hospitals in cryogenic liquid form. Needles like these are used in treatment of cancer. At the tip, extremely low temperatures are produced by cryogenic processes in the needle. And when a tumor tissue comes in contact with the tip, it is killed or ablated. What you see here is a cryo cooler. At the tip here, low temperatures are produced and these are used among many other applications like sensors and in detectors. And for terrestrial applications like infrared sensors and in space, in Earth observation satellites and in science missions like the James Webb Telescope. My name is Srini Vanapali and I direct the Applied Thermal Sciences Lab. In this course, I will walk you through the basic fundamentals of cryogenic processes, the building blocks of a cryocooler, basics of vacuum technology, and last but not the least, a lot of lab practice sessions. My name is Anna Cario, uh, and I am specializing in technical superconductivity and its applications. Did you heard about the Higgs boson and its discovery? This couldn't be done actually without uh, superconductivity. Are you aware of magnetic imaging uh, resonance? This couldn't be done without superconductivity. What about the levitating trains, which are moving with the speed of 600 uh, km an hour? If you like to learn more about those interesting applications of superconductivity, join our course. You will learn about those in the classroom, as well as with the lots of hands-on experience in the laboratory environment. Are you excited? Would you like to get a taste of cryogenics and superconductivity? If the answer is yes, join us at the Curious You course.